Welcome to the Term 4 Senior School Video Newsletter. As the school year is moving into its final phase, it is traditional to reflect on the year that has been and the memorable achievements that have occurred. This year has certainly not been traditional, and whilst it has had its significant challenges, there have also been achievements and milestones reached. 2020 started with expectations of reaching the full growth and completion of the college with the first group of our Year 12 students. We went on the Year 12 study camp in February and enjoyed a fantastic two days away of building teamwork skills, developing study skills and preparing for the English studies that were to come, as well as preparing for the physical and mental challenges that Year 12 would bring. Little were we to know that we would not reach the end of Term 1 before school became an online learning platform for everyone. Term 1 allowed our Year 9 students to attend their first focus camp at Warrandyte and thankfully they were able to use this experience to be able to build relationships with their peers and their teachers. Our city experiences were able to get underway but sadly the programme was cut short as again we transitioned to remote learning. I know how disappointed our Year 9 teachers and students have been they have not been able to engage with all of the experiential activities that our programme has provided in the previous three years. Remote learning with the use of Google Classroom and also video conferencing was suddenly thrust upon teachers and students. And I'd like to acknowledge and commend the speed with which all of our teachers across senior school have learnt new skills for online teaching as well as making adjustments to the curriculum to enable a programme of teaching and learning to get underway so swiftly. I understand the challenge that this has placed on students and parents as we moved rapidly to learning online. Some students have absolutely loved the flexibility and self-directed approach that this often allowed, and other students we know found this incredibly challenging and craved the return to a more traditional and face-to-face -face learning model. Lockdown and remote learning was a challenge for everyone and I'd like to praise the overall resilience of our senior students who really toughed it out this year but finally have got the job done. I'd like to thank the parents of senior school students for their support as we understand that whilst many students were self-directed and motivated, many were also supported and guided and directed by their parents who were often also challenged by working remotely. It is with great relief and some excitement that our students across senior school have returned during the first few weeks of Term 4. Our Year 12 students returned in Week 1 for the GATT exam that went smoothly and the VC and VCAL students made a swift return to face-to-face -to -face teaching in Week 2. Whilst they are the students who have had the most attendance on site this year, we also acknowledge the disruption to the VCE programmes. However, the students and teachers have understood the work that was needed to be done and have come back and have just got on with finishing Year 11 and 12 units and preparing for their relevant exams. Year 9 and 10 students have returned back in Week 4 and the focus of their return has been around re-establishing routines, engaging students and undertaking the concept of a recovery curriculum. Teachers across all subjects have aimed to involve a lot more practical work and get students engaged in face-to-face -face teaching. Year 9 have undertaken team building type activities that they would have done on focus camps, but this was done on site and the students have seemed to enjoy this. A significant milestone this year for both the college and our students has been the completion of our Year 12 and with only a handful of VC exams to go, this is now very close. Whilst restrictions around gatherings have prevented many events this year, we are pleased to be able to celebrate the last day of Year 12 for our students. Next week, our Year 12 students will be able to attend our formal graduation ceremony, where they'll be recognised as successfully completing their final year of school. We certainly look forward to being able to meet with them in person to celebrate this achievement and milestone. Across the next few weeks, our Year 8, 9, 10 and 11 students will experience an early start day or week where they will be uh, orientated in activities and lessons that will introduce them to the year ahead. We hope this will provide some normality with a transition to higher year levels and new subjects that they will study for next year. I wish all students and parents a very safe, restful and relaxing Christmas break after what has been a unique and challenging year for all. I look forward to seeing all of the senior school students when they return in 2021 for hopefully a more traditional and less disrupted year.